What's good? It's Jordan. Today I'll be talking to you about learning to be grateful. See, in this path, in this journey that the Most High provides to us, many times we may receive the blessings. We may not understand where the blessings come from. We may not understand why the blessings came at this time or that time on God's timing. But what we have to understand is to be grateful. When we learn how to be grateful, we learn how to be humble. We learn how to be worthy. We learn how to be confident. When we don't understand the blessings and we just bypass the blessings that we may receive, we have to think about it like this. Will the Most High provide us more blessings if we show ourselves to be ungrateful, if we show ourselves to not be worthy, if we show ourselves not to be a person of great courage, we have to understand that on this path, it's about being grateful, it's about being humble. If we come to the Most High with a humble heart, if we come to the Most High with faith, honor, love, and strength, the Most High will provide for us. Look at your life. Look at many various scenarios and situations in your life. Situations that could have been life or death experiences. Situations where you don't know where your next meal may come from. Situations where you may not have the ability to provide for the people around you. Your family, your friends, your associates, people who are special to you, people who you care about. We have to understand that these situations and scenarios that we may have not understood at that time, but still were able to provide, those were blessings from the Most High. Many times we may look at ourselves and be boastful, cocky, arrogant, and say, we've done this, we've done that, and we've got this far and we've got that far and we've provided this and that, but we have to understand the Most High provided us those abilities to do that. If we weren't provided those abilities from the Most High to do that, we wouldn't be able to do that. There are people who may live outside of God's order for their lives, and they have done other things that may have been negative in order for them to acquire resources know that when they've done those things, those things do not last. You know it's a blessing from the Most High when it lasts. Something that is not a blessing from the Most High will crumble, it will fall, it will not last, it will be unstable. Things that are provided from the Most High last. They last a long period of time and you understand right off the bat that it is a blessing from the Most High. Any foundation that is unstable, understand that it is not a blessing from the Most High. But a foundation that is built strong and last, it is a blessing from the Most High. It's for us to be grateful by these small things. So when we have the larger things, we're able to actually live with it, understand it, and be grateful. If we cannot be grateful for the small things, how are we supposed to be grateful for the larger things in this life? When we understand that God provides us the ability in this life to be strong and to be of good courage, we have to be grateful for that because there are people in this life that are not able to be of good courage, confident, strong, of faith, and we have to understand these things. You know, sometimes in this life, you may be confident in what you do. Someone else may not be confident in what they do. And we have to understand that these are gifts from the Most High. Just learning to be grateful for that. Just be learning to be grateful for your body to be able to walk, to be able to talk, to be able to see, to be able to hear 
to be able to touch, to be able to breathe. These are blessings from the Most High because there are people that are not able to do these things in the world. And we may take these things for granted because we may be able to use these things on a day-to-day -day basis. So it comes a part of our life in a way where it's just a normal function to us until something happens. That's why when you see people who are able to be mobile, when they get into an accident, a life-changing accident, they do not understand it. They aren't able to comprehend what happened. And now they have to live their life being immobile. They may remember the times when they're mobile, but just being in a mobile and not being able to do those things makes them lost. And it makes them more grateful because they understood what it was to be mobile and what it is now. When we still have the opportunity to be mobile in this life, we have to be grateful for it because it can be taken away at the blink of an eye. When we understand how to be grateful in everything that we do, we understand the blessings that the Most High provides. Sometimes we may say we're grateful, but in our hearts, we're really not grateful. We really don't care. We just look at the blessings and the gifts as something that is just normal. But we have to understand that everyone does not have these gifts and these blessings that we may have. And when we understand this, when we follow by this, we're more understanding of what God has done for us in this life. In the past, you may have struggled. You may have not understood why you're struggling. You may have not understood why you were placed in that position of struggle. But with the Most High guiding and providing, now you're able to live through that struggle and you're able to change your life according to God's plan and God's will. And you are outside of that struggle now. That is the Most High providing. That is the Most High providing a solution that we have to be grateful for. Understand that even when you are still in problems, struggles, and you do not have a solution, just being able to do the small things today, being able to understand yourself in your life is important. And that is a blessing as well, because things could be worse. Don't think because you may be in a bad situation right now that that's the end of the world. There is somebody out there that is in a worse situation. And when I say this, I don't want to say it in a way where people look at it as, oh, I'm in a bad situation and someone's in a worse situation. So my life isn't that bad, but just look at it as a way where you can see that, hey, there's still things happening in this world that could be worse and being grateful in this life for the situations that weren't as worse as someone else's situation. In this life, everything we have to be grateful for and we have to understand God's grace behind the blessings that we may receive at this time or the blessings that we may receive in the future. So today I'll be reading these scriptures to you and I hope that these scriptures can help you in your own personal life. Hebrews 12, 28. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that can't be shaken. And thus, let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. See, in this life, we may not understand the situations that we go through in the present moment. But if we understand that there is a solution to the situations that we go through and we understand that we're here in this life for a purpose, we're here in this life in order for us to follow the Most High 
and be passionate about what the Most High wants us to be passionate about. We have to understand that it is a blessing to understand yourself, to understand your path, to understand your mission, to understand your purpose in this life today. God provides us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on this path for us to enjoy the fruits of our labor that God provides for us today. I want to thank you for watching. Peace.